Welcome back to another Sebastian story. I'm here with my sweet boy. He's a Cane Corso Italiano who was adopted about a year ago, and we've been trying to rehabilitate his injured paw, trying to make sure he can live with it as best as he can. And today we're telling a story, trying to explain, uh, we've got, oh goodness. Today we're telling the story of Sebastian and five reasons you may not want to have a Cane Corso. An example of why you may not want a Cane Corso is they are extremely slow to mature. Uh, supposed to be four, four years of age is when they're fully mature, both physically and mentally. Uh, so you're dealing right now with 110 pounds of muscle with the maturity of a, mental maturity of a toddler. He wants to play with everything. He wants to put absolutely everything in his mouth. Um, but at the same time, that also means things like teeth are taking forever to come in. This guy, we've had him for over well over a year now, and for most of that time, he's been teething. And uh, there's only so many bones and chew toys and things that you can provide him with. Uh, he loves pillows and corners and soft things, um, and has sometimes chewed on some wooden furniture and things like that. And it's... Uh, you can redirect him all you want, but, you know, just you can feel the heat radiating out of his ears and out of the sides of his head, and you just know he's in pain, and you try as hard as you can to stay on top of it, but there's only so much you can do. One thing with Connie Corso is that they have huge strength. We're talking big strength, but that also means a big responsibility. This animal is very powerful, and that needs to be controlled. Um... This is the 21st century, and you've got to keep an eye on him, because even though you know he's a sweet boy, and you know he means well, and you know he doesn't bite you, um, somebody else sees this big of a dog running towards them, their reaction is fear, not, oh, look at the cute puppy, puppy running at me. They go, oh my gosh, this is a wolf that's charging me. Um, and that's something you need to be able to stay on top of um, uh, for the animal's welfare, and yours as well. Another reason you may not want a Connie Corso, uh, and one that you wouldn't exactly expect, they are extremely intelligent. And that means that you, supposedly with the bigger brain, have that responsibility of making sure that each day you're not only wearing him out physically, but you're also giving him the mental stimulation that he needs uh, to uh, he's a problem solver. He, if he encounters an obstacle, he tries to find a way around it. And so, therefore, you need to be one step ahead, at least, always, uh, to ensure that that dog isn't outsmarting you and potentially putting himself in, in danger or in a position that he shouldn't be in. Um, and always, you know, the whole idea is making sure they stay safe. We're supposed to be taking care of them. And aside from the very long time with teething, one thing I've noticed that despite being a short hair and it's actually a two-layer, you'll get a, a thicker coat in winter, I've not noticed a break in the shedding. I brush him quite frequently, and that does not seem to make the slightest bit of difference for the shedding. It's to make sure that his coat stays smooth and glossy, and uh, you try and pick up as much of the hair as you can, but... Um, I vacuum a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of cleanup to do, and uh, I definitely don't mind it, but uh, uh, if you were looking for a, uh, uh, a cleaner short hair, this is not the one. One other thing, along with constant shedding, uh, this animal is also constantly vigilant. Um, I've never seen another dog like this. Uh, he sleeps with one eye open, quite literally. Uh, I, the slightest movements, he'll be snoring and he will, he will shoot up, ready to go, always thinking with a protective mind, this is my family and I need to protect it, which is great, but that also, again, comes back to having responsibilities, uh, and also just the fact that if you have a busy household with people constantly coming and going, that's not exactly conducive to a good stress-free lifestyle for your animal. If you just want a simple pet, you might want to look at a different breed because this animal is a true responsibility and dedication to ensure his safety and his, uh, uh, <laughs> you smiling, you happy? You're a good boy. Oh, I love you too, puppy. But they're also loving too, and that's just something you've got to, uh, make sure to encourage and make sure you always have that, uh, great relationship with your animal to make sure that, uh, they want to listen to you. There's a level of respect that is essential with this breed more than any other that I've encountered. 
and sometimes they just need a lot of sleep. <laughs> As always, thank you so very much for watching. We're having a great time telling these stories, and we'll be back again soon with more. Thanks again.